welcome back to my channel now the day has come we're going on a little trip we're going to Guthrie and Garni so what it is I've ordered a pattern and I could either choose to have it delivered pay the delivery or I could do click and collect so I chose click and collect so I can take you to Guthrie and Garni and I haven't been there for ages it takes me about 20 minutes to drive there so it's Friday afternoon now so I'm going to head over and um, they don't know I'm coming so I'm hoping I can do some filming so I might do a bit of filming outside and a bit of filming on, on the inside but I might have to say is it okay so fingers crossed they let me do some filming in there so obviously I'll have to stop filming because I need to get the email off my phone to retrieve my order but yeah I'll just see what I managed to film so fingers crossed I can get something decent for you so yeah I'll see you when I get over to Mosley so I'll be back in a bit I'm not going to obviously film the drive i've got nowhere to put my phone but yeah i'll see you in mosley <laughs> we've arrived now we're about five minutes away from guthrie and garni unfortunately there's a lot of parking restrictions and I'd, i'm not sure of the times so i've basically i've drove past there just past there's a pub there's a hospital and then i've drove into i think it's reddings it might be reddings road and i've parked up but it's a five minute walk away so i'm going to walk up there now so i'll um yes i'll be back in a moment nice. it's a little bit embarrassing doing this there's people walking towards me and on the other side of the road but uh yeah i'm gonna stop filming now and then i'll i'll come back from outside the shop Here's some old buildings here. We've arrived. This is Guthrie and Garni. It's gorgeous, isn't it? All right, I'm back home now and hopefully you got a little bit of an overview of what Guthrie and Garni looks like. Now I've had a little look back at the footage I've taken just before I've come in here and now I kind of kick myself because I'm kind of seeing things that I could have looked through that I just didn't look through when I was there. So I think I'm going to have to go back again, but I might go back. Maybe I won't do the filming next time because it was making it a bit awkward because I was holding the camp, you know, the phone and things on a, on a stick. And uh, yeah, it was making it a bit awkward to look at things. So maybe I'll have to go back for another visit. But yeah, it's a beautiful shop, isn't it? And I'll show you what I came home with. So I've got a paper bag. And I bought 1.2 metres of, oh, oh yeah. 
of this cozy colours. Now you've seen me with cozy colours before on my channel. I made the Nina Lee Southbank sweater dress in a like a beige version of this and I just think it's just one of my favourite things. I felt like I was in you know in a futuristic looking dress it was <laughs> i really loved it and still do but there's two other versions of that pattern there's a, a longer jumper and a, a cropped jumper so i plan on making the cropped jumper and this fabric is the same it's navy and basically it was um back in stock and i've had the first piece off the balls she did say there was a bit of a scraggy end so hopefully it's not too bad it's not going to affect my pattern but yeah this is the fabric so hopefully this navy suits me so that is probably going to be my next dress making make and the pattern that i ordered online there's a little card in here saying great pattern claire enjoy and it's the cali um shirt now i often find with these cosmic claw patterns um when i've made them they look better than the line drawing that's my experience of them so um there's actually a few versions of it there's a cropped version a medium version and it looks like a dress version doesn't it the longer version so i don't know which version i'm going to be making as of yet but what it is i had quite a few kind of like lighter fabrics when i was in the so Haley jane subscription club i was having the the, the middle box so I was getting that three metres of fabric and there's a number of fabrics I haven't used so I was thinking I might have a go at using them to make this now I was getting about I think I was getting about three metres of fabric or two and a half metres of fabric in that subscription club and then I was always afraid of just doing a top out of it because I was thinking I could make a dress but then they've just ended up sitting there so maybe the shirt might be the way to go so i think it would look nice with jeans and jean shorts and things in the summertime and nice and airy so that's going to be another up and coming make i don't think i'm going to wait very long to make this this should be really quick because i'm sure i've already uh, trace the pattern pieces i think i just went ahead and traced all of them so i've just got to locate my pattern um so it should be pretty quick to cut out my overlocker set up and then obviously this will take a bit more time because i've got to trace and obviously I'm, I'm not forgetting hamish hamish needs his clothes but i don't know whether to knit him a jumper i'm not too sure yet so um leave me with it and uh, and i'll see you in my next video and you can see what i've managed to get up to in that time i can't guarantee i'm definitely of going to have done the dressmaking um but yeah just just wait and see we'll see what happens because i don't even know myself at this present moment in time what i'm next going to be sewing in here so anyway thank you so much for joining me on my trip out to guthrie and garney i hope you enjoyed it i'd like to have walked around giving you a really educated description of what i was looking at but without being able to delve in with two hands, I didn't really know what I was looking at, you know, without pulling out labels and things. But I hope you've got the gist of the shop. And, uh, and bear in mind, if you ever want to visit there, just make sure they're going to be open because they're not open every day. And they've got short opening times. So, yeah, just to warn you, don't travel a long way and then find their clothes. Because I actually spoke to a lady in there and she'd done the same thing on another day. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me on my trip out and i'll hopefully um you'll join me again in my next video so thank you bye <laughs>